Hello everyone, this is the real Black Otaku. Welcome to the unmentioned video for my top 10 favorite couples. If you have not seen the original video yet, you can go ahead and watch that by clicking right here or in the description. On will mention number one, Lawrence and Holo from Spice and Wolf. I found these two to be rather interesting. Lawrence is your average traveling merchant, while Holo is a wise wolf goddess. First, the relationship was just about Lawrence taking Holo to her home up north, while keeping her identity a secret from the Aiken Church. As these two grow closer together, Lawrence becomes more comfortable with Holo's presence, and Holo acts less smug and arrogant and more teasing and playful. I know most people would actually put these two on the top 10 couples, but I wouldn't say they're there quite yet. I can see a romantic relationship beginning to develop between these two, but as of the end of the second season, it hasn't developed to the point where I would put them on my top 10 favorite couples. We'll see where things go if and when season 3 comes out. I want to mention number 2, Dajil and Levy from Fairy Tale. Now, I'm aware these two aren't as much an actual couple as they are a fan made ship, which is the reason why they're not on the actual list. In fact, the only confirmed couple so far on the show is Alzac and Bisco, but I'm getting off topic. I think they complement each other really well. Godzilla's this big, tough, badass dragon slayer, while Levy is this, is sweet, kind, a bookworm. They might seem like total opposites, but they work together very, very well. Admittedly, their first encounter wasn't under the best of circumstances, but I really like how their relationship has developed over the course of the show. I think the one that really solidified these two as one of my favorite ships would be when they, they paired up for the S-Class exam at the beginning of the Tenro Island arc. If you don't think there's anything going on between these two, then how do you explain this? There's a heart in the O! Of the three couples that I ship in Fairytale, Gajal and Lovey are my second favorite. Who's my first favorite ship? It could be Natsu and Lucy, it could be Jalal and Urza, it could be Grey and Juvia, or it might be some other obscure ship that everyone else seems to overlook. Exactly who it is, I won't reveal quite yet. I'll reveal that in a later video. Until then, I'll just sit back and watch you guys argue amongst yourselves in the comments as you try to guess who it is. On mention number 3, Rin and Asa from Shuffle. This is another couple that is considered a spoiler because they really don't start to go out until later on the show. Mainly when I first watched Shuffle, I wanted Rin to end up with Kaede, but she has her issues. At first, I actually didn't count Asa as a legitimate love interest, but they have such great chemistry. They have known each other since forever, not as long as Kaede, mind you, but more than Nerine, Seiya, and Primula. Whenever things got tough for Rin, he always went to Asa for help. The main reason why I love these two is because of what happens in the final moment of the show. I don't dare spoil what happens for anyone who you hasn't seen Shuffle, but I was touched because of what happened. On what mentioned before, Riki and Rain from Little Buster's Refrain. I honestly saw this one coming, not necessarily because of the events of the first season, but because about a month before Refrain started airing, I was talking to myself of comparing the idea of Little Buster's Refrain to Clan After Story, and then things clicked. I theorized that Riki and Rain were going to go out in Refrain. A theory I questioned once or twice during the disappointment that was Yuiko's arc, but I digress. One of the main reasons why I love these two so much, and one of the reasons why they are being mentioned here, is because I just love just how much they contributed to each other's development. Probably the main reason why they're not on the actual list is because Little Buster's refrain focused more on another character who shall remain unnamed to avoid spoilers. So go ahead and tell me down in the comments some of your thoughts on the couples I mentioned here in my own mentions. If you have not seen the original video yet, you can watch that by clicking right here or in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go check my vlogging channel as the troll and be able to go to by clicking right here or in the description. This is the real Black Kutaki signing out. See ya.